This is the unit in UST 5000. The UST 6000 is just a little wider because it has uh, stereo sound and uh, a few other extra things, remote control, uh, a digital level meter. So uh, we can take this here and we can uh, do, first of all, uh, scan it. we can switch polarity on the antenna whether it's pin diode driven or if it's a, a motor driven we can switch vertical and horizontal polarity then we can do if we want to go through the channels fast well we can go through the channels slowly here we can go down and channel and you see every other channel is a different polarity and you can actually start it on a different polarity and, and continue that way depending upon how the satellite is set up and you can also do a slow scan in which it goes through the channels automatically. And when it hits the end of the channels, which you can't see is if it's a motor driven, at the end of the channels it actually switches the polarity. You see on the front it does vertical and horizontal, but when you're slow scanning, the motor and the motor driven can't go that fast, so it just follows the uh, it, it follows every other cycle around it, it does the polarity change and then you can do fast scan you go through the channels real fast and that's for checking to see if you've got things set up properly the uh, skew control uh, I didn't show when I had a close-up of the motor driven unit but it will actually move the uh, motor driven unit in very fine increments and it has no effect on the pin diode device and then the audio tune changes the frequency that you're tuned to in a satellite sig signal to pick up the audio and on the UST 6000 there are two audio tunes one for channel 1 for one for channel 2 so you can independently tune them and you can get channel 1 and channel 2 kind of mixed up that way, but uh, that, that's the way the old analog satellite system used to be. Here is the UST-5000 set to vertical, and there it's set to horizontal and back to vertical. Now if I tell it to do a slow scan, it will very slowly go through the channels and when it hits the end of the uh, channels it'll switch to the other polarity like that on its own so that if you were going through a fast scan there's not enough time for the channels uh, the, the polarity to change but at the end it goes back through and changes to the other polarity one slight detail about the motorized driven that the skew control controls very slight differences in the position as you can see here so the uh, polarity control controls large positions and the skew control controls small movements the motor driven positioning uses uh, the signal on the top which is called the pulse and the pulse, the uh, signal on the bottom is a s another signal that's on the wire in case you have something that gets con controlled through the cable so this is vertical notice that the pulse is wide and this is horizontal and the pulse is narrower and the bottom trace is the uh, VH signal, so right now it's in the horizontal and now it's in the vertical position. This is a little closer view of the pulse and you can see the difference in the width of the pulse with the other signal changing, but the skew control can actually change small amounts of that for a fine-tuned uh, adjustment of the position of the vertical and the horizontal. And there are controls on the bottom of these satellite receivers that show uh, that uh, can adjust that width to the range that uh, is needed.
and these are the pin diode signals. The one on the top is the vertical signal and the bottom is the horizontal signal. So right now we're in vertical, so the vertical is high and the horizontal is low and we switch it around and now the, the two signals change positions. And you may notice that when going to the low it takes a little while. It's not really low, it's really uh, open circuit so it's uh, uh, able to control something where there might be more than one device on the line. The back of the 5000 shows a uh, from left to right, from top to bottom, uh, 18 volt to if you had a cable that required a special feed for 18 volts by itself otherwise you would normally use the the bottom left one which is the 1 gigahertz input from the feed horn and uh, antenna and or LMB and that contains the 18 volts and pressed on it uh, then the uh, Composite out is uh, something to go to you to a descrambler. The uh, 70, uh, there's an input and output that a jumper together. You would normally put a filter in there. There are the four, uh, or rather eight, little uh, wire connections that uh, I showed with the pulse and the uh, pin diode outputs. Then there are the RCA jacks for video, audio, and if you want to connect an external meter. And there's a switch for RF output to channel 4 or channel 3, depending upon if you're using the RF output. And here is the RF output jack that would go to your TV set. And then there's an antenna input that you can put your regular VHF antenna signal onto that and when the unit is turned off it would feed right through to the uh, RF out so that you could watch regular TV channels from a regular antenna. The uh, 6000 has added in the back an RF outlet and uh, two channel audio because it has two channel audio that's basically the same and there's a little switch over here that determines whether you've got the uh, uh, 1 gigahertz input coming from directly from a LNB or if you've got to come through uh, a, a, some combiner system where you are receiving between two different uh, different uh, feeds in case you have m multiple satellite boxes in your home feeding from a single antenna or multiple antennas. Now from comparison here is the UST 6000 uh, rear. Similar setup, as I said, the uh, uh, the outlet plug is quite obvious. And for car comparison here is the UST 6000, similar layout, except it has, for the stereo, it has uh, selections for discrete matrix or just mono audio, left and right audio, the skew button, same as before, the polarity signal, just like before, uh, and you can do the fast scan and it has a infrared uh, input for uh, a remote so that you can use a uh, uh, handheld remote and it also has a level meter for signal strength which you don't see because there's no signal being picked up at this time. Just to show you the level indicator works I've got the cable connected to the LNB if I disconnect that cable then the signal goes down so the signal indicator is indicating something, but it's not picking up any signal because there's no analog cable being transmitted at this time, in this century. And the satellite receiver is picking up noise. And if I disconnect the connection from the LNB, you see that there's a difference in the, in the image. So the LNB is generating some signal, but there's, it's not picked up, it's not connected, it's not aimed at anything, so you just get snow.